think what happens a lot of time women we fall in love first and yeah. then we find out 10 months later that he has bad credit and what happens is once you marry his debt becomes your debt well those ladies are talking about how to avoid dating a man with bad credit of course, that does go both ways. This is a segment I featured at 9 a.m. A website called blackenterprise.com lists the red flags to look out for when dating someone who may have bad credit. And I'll just take you through a few items on the list. Your partner's cell phone plan. Those with bad credit are often forced to sign up with providers that have lower standards because they make allowances for customers with poor credit. Prepaid services are often a sign of that. Also, your partner living on the wrong side of the tracks. That's because nicer areas of housing are more strict about credit. How about your partner complaining about car insurance rates? The majority of auto insurance companies use your credit score to determine your rates. How about your date preferring cash to checks? Cash to credit cards, cash everything. That's because maybe they want to avoid the banks. Maybe they're in trouble with the banks. And also, if your date has two to three to four bank accounts, often those with bad credit use them to transfer funds around between those accounts. So just a few red flags to look out for. And on that note, we would like to say hello to the newest face of ABC's The View, Jenny McCarthy, joining us live from New York City. Jenny, I'm sorry that story came before you. We know that you don't have bad credit. Your credit's great. Everything's great about you. Let me tell you something. No, I need that list. When I was dating, <laughs> I think every single girl needs that list. Where can I find that list? On your website? Uh, that'll be on news10.net. And I will have it on my I'm Facebook page, up. too, just for you, Jenny. So Perfect. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we'll make sure we go through that. <laughs> but more importantly, we want to talk about your debut this week. This is a historic week for you and The View. Oh. Of course, uh, your debut went great. But how is the week going? And what do you really think of your co-host? And you can be honest with me. It's our secret. <laughs> OK, I'm just, you're not going to tell anybody, right? No, no. This is just um, between you so, and me, you no know, one else. <laughs> I was worried that I was going to be nervous on my first day because there was so many eyes on it and it's something I've been waiting for forever. And I woke up feeling really calm. And I think it's because I paid my dues. You know, it's been 20 years. I've worked around this kind of talk show broadcasting um, arena for a while and I feel ready. I felt ready. So when I came out here, I just had such gratitude, you know, um, for the job because I'm a single mom and to be able to do what I love. And I must say, I'm not kidding. Everyone has been so wonderful so far. If it changes, I'll let you know. But the women have been open and supportive and really letting me be who I'm at, who I am. So that's, that's a breath of fresh air considering so many so many companies, you know, want to form their opinion of who you are. And right. I'm grateful that The View has really let me be me. Well, you fit like a glove uh, with those ladies. And I want to point out that last year you were a guest on The View and you were talking about posing for Playboy at age 40. And I was wondering during that time, were you thinking, you know, I could do this. I, I can I can be a co-host on this show. Did that cross your mind at that time? Um, you know, I always had big dreams to have the largest platform I can I can have in my career. Um, back then, you know, I was probably doing my late night talk show, so I was thinking of my audience and how that was a kind of a perfect fit for a late night audience. And then this came about this spring, and I jumped at the opportunity when I heard Joy was leaving. I thought, oh God, this is a really great opportunity for me to get into daytime television and and also, you know, discuss issues that are meaningful and not just talk right. to drunk rap artists like I was on VH1. Well, you know what? We're showing some video of when you were on MTV, and I remember this clearly as a teenage kid watching you on Singled Out. I thought it was a great show, and I must say that when I look at you, back then compared to now. Jenny, you look amazing, and I really want you what? to divulge your secret with me. What are you eating? What's your workout plan? How can we all continue looking good? Well, that's very nice of you to say, number one. This lighting is awesome <laughs> yeah. that they have over here. But, um, you know, I also I work out, and I think happiness has a lot to do with it. I think being stressed out and angry does not do you any justice. So I feel like I've done a lot of self, you know, work and, um, 
and I work out and I eat healthy, but yeah. I'm just ultimately happy. So my face is going up instead of down. Good, good. Well, you're wearing glasses too. <laughs> I wear glasses. All the cool kids are doing it these days. So thank you for continuing right? that trend. <laughs> and I also want to show some video of a segment that I ran yesterday. Uh, and I really want you to weigh in on this and possibly suggest it as okay. a segment for the ladies on The View. It has to do with Ooh. women selling positive pregnancy tests and ultrasound images on Craigslist to blackmail their boyfriends, convincing no. them to get married. What do you think about that? That is an amazing hot topic. And is this true? Is this real? Oh, this is true. This was featured on CNN and, of course, uh, on our station yesterday. It's unbelievable. Well, Being a single man, this is very scary. It. it scares me. It is scary. You know, I, I, it, it doesn't actually that much surprise me because, you know, I think there's a lot of people with ulterior motives. So um, I can't wait to look into that more. I'm going to go check out your website and, and read more into it and discuss it maybe as a hot topic tomorrow. So thank yeah. you for that one. Absolutely. Uh, Jenny, That's thank you so one. much. We'll exchange our information. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for it. the work you're doing on The View. And we wish you the best of luck. Thanks, Jenny. Thank you so much. Nice talking to you. Yeah, you too.